Hello everybody and um, welcome to my 13th advanced Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use array formulas. Um, array formulas are quite tricky to use. Um, they are quite useful in a lot of situations. So. so the concept of an array formula is rather than doing calculations one cell at a time um, it can do calculations based off of a series of cells, um, so or, or an array of cells. So any of you that have done computing will know what an array is any, anyway. Um, but as a as a brief explanation, an array is just a grid of uh, information stored in a computer. So these five here are an array, and they're a one by five uh, array. So the array goes one dimension across five dimensions uh, that well five down in another dimension um, so this would be a two-dimensional array and then if you go into computing you can have or, or mathematics you can have many 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 dimensions within your array um, but for Excel you generally stick with just uh, two-dimensional arrays um, and you have a special formula for working with um, arrays and that is a array formulas um, and they can be used to do quite a few different things uh, I'm going to show you some of the basics and then one of the main reasons I use them um, which is for, for, for summing or counting uh, data when you've got multiple criteria so count if and sum if you can only use um, one, one criteria for um, the array formulas allow you to put multiple criteria in. Um, so let's get started. So I've got my array here, uh, and just an example of how to do an array formula. Uh, you'll start typing the formula as normal. Let's say we want to find out the length of each of these. So I'm going to want it to be filled in down all of these five. So I'm going to highlight these, and I'm going to put equals length then my text and I want my text to be the entire array because we're working with an array so let's just highlight that and then close that off and then the important thing to remember is you can't just press enter because that's just going to treat it as a normal formula um, you need to go into the cell and press control shift and enter and then you'll notice now that it's included the array formula on all five of these um, and it's working out the length for each one of them and putting them across to the right. Um, now this you might be thinking not very useful why don't I just drag the formula down well that's where the next step of array formulas comes in um, because you're able to then use this information as an array and you don't actually have to put it onto a worksheet you can work with it straight away um, so let's say we click in here and go uh, sum open bracket close bracket and then control shift and enter and you don't want it in all the cells now we can have it in um, just the below one, so let's actually get rid of that. Let's get rid of the whole thing because it's already set up as so right now. So equals sum of the length of our entire array. Close bracket, close bracket, control shift and enter. And then it's just going to put it in the one cell and it will give us the sum of the length of each one of the values within this array. So now you can see why that's quite useful because normally you'd have to do it one at a time uh, so your formula would get quite lengthy so you'd have equals length of that plus length of that um, and so on and you'd put it you'd have five of them and it would be huge um, or you'd have formulas in six cells so you go Okay, let's have a formula there, drag them down, sum them up, and then you've got your total there. But then obviously you've got to have six different cells taken up. Um, 
so this can save a lot of space um, and sometimes it can save on calculation times um, but a lot of the time they'll, they'll make your calculation times quite slower and you're better off um, just using normal formulas or some other form of, of calculation techniques such as pivot table um, but they can be useful in quite a lot of situations um, so that's it for the introduction to array formulas um, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, sum up uh, and count the amount of items when you've got more than one criteria so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial